Hello from Davos, I'm Brian Sazi. We are live on day three inside the Congress Center at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. And I'm Julia LaRoche. And for the next three hours, we will be live on Yahoo Finance with our colleagues, Editor-in-Chief Andy Sower and Alexis Christophorus, bringing you all the latest news and interviews. And we'll also be joined by our colleague, Max Zahn. Max, you were in the presser this morning with Secretary Mnuchin. You got to pose a question to him. What do you hear? Yes, a cold war between the Trump administration and 17-year-old climate activist Greta Thunberg in Davos went hot today. I had the chance to go to an early morning press briefing with some members of Trump's delegation. Brian and I were in the front row, and I asked Treasury Secretary Mnuchin to respond to Greta's call for public and private in sector institutions to immediately divest from fossil fuel companies. Who is she? Mnuchin asked, is she the chief economist of the United States? And he also added, when she goes to college and studies economics, then she can come explain it to us. The remarks follow dueling instances of addresses from Thunberg and Trump in which they've criticized the other indirectly. Trump referring to what he called people who say an apocalypse is coming, that doom is coming, and committing, though, to an initiative here at the World Economic Forum to plant or preserve one trillion trees. But Thunberg, speaking about an hour later, criticized that initiative. She said that it, quote, wasn't enough to address the climate crisis. That's set off a conversation here at Davos among CEOs, among political leaders about how to address this climate crisis. And earlier this week, Andy Andy Serwer, Yahoo Finance Editor-in-Chief, spoke with Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan on this topic, and we got his take on this divestment issue. For us to say we're carbon neutral and for an oil and gas company to say it's carbon neutral are two different questions, because that's their business and we have other businesses. But the bridge between it is, if we're going to provide funds to them, lending to them and stuff, we need them to be making progress. Society thinks they're making the transition happen, and, and you see oil and gas companies committed. That way, we should lend to those companies to help make progress faster rather than divest from them, which won't help them at all. So that's just one response we've heard here at the conference to Thunberg's call for divestment. But Brian Sazi spoke as well with the Credit Suisse CEO and got another take on how much exactly it's going to cost to make this transition. We should note, though, very quickly, uh, Max, this was the first time the administration came out and actually said something forcefully in regards to Greta Thunberg. So that was a very good story by you. Up to your point, yes, I did briefly catch up with Credit Suisse CEO to Jane Thiem during a panel yesterday. And he says the move or the focus on this new green environment, certainly AOC, her plan could cost trillions of dollars over the next couple decades. I asked him, well, who's going to foot the bill for that? He said there is a lot of capital in the system. Uh, sounds as though Credit Suisse might be launching some more green bonds into the marketplace. But also, too, last night I talked with Allianz CEO Oliver Bette, and he said the insurance industry more broadly is, is prepared for a lot of catastrophic risks. It's a major problem, I think, for the insurance industry going forward, potential green swan events. And we've seen here with both, of course, political leaders and business leaders, a question of, is government going to lead on this issue or are companies going to lead on, on this issue? The Allianz CEO, as, as I saw in your article, mentioned that right now businesses are taking the lead, but will we see governments follow? Or in some ways, are governments trying to push these companies to do the same? Yeah. Well, Max Zahn, great reporting on the ground here at WEF. We'll see you later.